No, Flippin's a, a, a fucking shit. That's Mike Pachetti? That's Mike Pachetti, you hear? We're, we're starting Flip, the show. Flippin is a fucking. A what are you star. doing? You gotta, you gotta, oh, it's sorry. so, it's gonna make me so stressed that you gotta. Sorry. No, but it looks like you're blowing Patrick Ewing. <laughs> there you go. Flippin is a fucking shit starter. He loves fucking brawls. A shit starter? Yeah, he loves brawls. He does. You know what? So's the ravioli jay tonight. <laughs> They're a shit starter. My panties were missing. I never he is found. The James loves fucking blood. Flip is already. Else, I love it. I love it. Stay in that mode. So, so, super simple. Once you get to go. Wait. <laughs> Didn't he say something about about African Americans oh, that was yeah. so terrible? Remember, you just blurted this out. Niggas are stupid and violent. That's ridiculous. Niggas are stupid and violent. You remember you niggas said are stupid and violent. <laughs> Listen oh, to this. I can't niggas hear are stupid and violent. Oh, oh, you're saying niggas are stupid and violent. Well, you guys got me, mommy. You guys. Provoke me, really. <laughs> you know what? You can go home, Mike. Mommy, we have your we have your interview. We have your best moment. No, no, I gotta go sleepy sleep. James me. Actually. You know, let's shut this off. It's gonna be too distracting. Everything funny Mike has said, we have on a loop here. Hi, Snuggies. Oh, okay, no. we, you talking to Stacy Pressman's cat, but of course you weren't pussy whipped. No, I'm, no, I was never pussy whipped. Really. Oh my I mean. God, it was so disgusting. <laughs> You no, couldn't go just, anywhere without her permission. I had to give my man Mike card back. Mike couldn't go anywhere without a Jew broad's permission. <laughs> oh, don't use that word. That word is so 20th century. What, broad? No, you know. Jew? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, what about you? Okay, what about, remember this? Uh, you just said it, right, Flip? You just, he might not say it. Will he say it again, you think? Niggas are stupid and violent. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> yeah, but James is the one who started it, though, I think. What did he say? I mean, he Mommy. made me say. <laughs> are you comfortable with the mic? Niggas are yeah, stupid yeah, yeah. and violent. <laughs> okay, let's stop for now. Jesus. Jesus, Mike. You're like the head of the clan. You're like the uh, Grand Dragon. No, but James and... <laughs> Mike, let's just calm down for a Did anybody here... Is anybody here old enough to have met Eric Douglas, the guy who wanted to be... Yes, I knew him. All right, Jesus, Mike. Jesus. I was like, what's my line? How'd you know him? He let's hear this com- bullshit. No, no, he was a comic in the early 90s. He was not, he was not a comic. He used to hang around comedy shows. Well, he, 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 he attempted comedy. But right, he, he was horrible. Oh, what a bad comedian. Really? Uh, yeah, watching him was like uh, being in prison with his uh, nephew. Uh, and he would hang around the Laugh Factory. Did you know him in L.A.? New York. But he, New York. he got arrested with his dog, I think, on a plane one time. Let's just examine that sentence. Let's examine that sentence for a second. I said, does anyone know Eric Douglas? That's what I said. Then we both said he's a comedian. And then Mike blurted out. He got arrested with his dog once on a plane, I think. <laughs> I think. He's just yes-anding you. Yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> I hate when women do that. Now explain that. He, uh, he had like one of those little like dogs, like lap dogs, I think, that got nasty with somebody in the plane, and he got in an argument with them, and I think and they fucking locked his ass up. So the dog started a fight. I think so. <laughs> yeah. What a Brussels Griffon? Yeah, like like a like Eddie, Eddie Griffon. I don't know how to say it. It was like one of those little like the little I don't know, like Yorkies. I know I'm what you're really talking sure. about. <laughs> there you go, there's Dad talking to it. Here's Dad talking to a dog. No, the dog started in with people. Like that. That's what happened, I think. Look who it is. <laughs> the guy fucking you secretly. Look who it is. The dog starts whimpering and limping. Okay, guys, we're ready. <laughs> Look who it is. Dad, have you fucked any of my sister's dogs? Oh. Last podcast, be, be truthful. They, they, they jump around like someone's lighting a cigarette when they see Dad. <laughs> my mother rescued three dogs and the white one. Lucia shakes so much. It's like, uh, it's like either Dad started fucking her or she was being fucked oh. by a, a crackhead oh. pit bull. Thanks, guys. <laughs> play that again. Play as Thanks, much guys. of that clip as you have. Oh. Look who it is. <laughs> that's in the background while we're trying to do a podcast. That's our producer. Before the show. It's like half hour before. Why is it being taped? Flipping. It's fucking flipping. The blackmail oh, tape, I know. The blackmail reel, we're calling it. He is. Flippin's a fucking a, a shit star and shithead sometimes. I'll tell you, Mike, Mike <laughs> nodded to uh, repetitiveness yeah. too much. <laughs> Go ahead. Let's hear the whole. Uh, I want to hear as much of Dan talking to a dog as we can. I gotta find it. it can be All right, we'll find it. That should be flagged, by the way. We're taking that to Kubia. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking some things over to Kubia. And Otto, you never know with James. He seems innocent. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> what does that mean? I just got douche chills. He seems innocent, but he's what a psychopath. What does that mean? He seems innocent. Before you know it, he's letting you fuck him. Mike, try to just talk while I'm talking. 
This is what I hear. I'm talking to you. I remind you. I just want your hair dye. I feel, I feel like I'm in church. That's why. Because why is that? Because you like, stink like a pew? No. Uh, oh. No, don't, don't make fun of God. Actually, I... <laughs> no, Mike looks fantastic. Let's talk about Mike. Yeah, Mike's. post-heart attack. No, Mike. I want to hear about you guys. I like this. Mike, I didn't get you here to fucking talk. With you got you to talk to the mic. What you, give us a hair, a hair update. I feel I feel good because you know why I'm going to be myself. Fuck who don't like my hair. I do specs. All right, let's stop. <laughs> what are you talking about? I mean, we love you. I love your hair. No, I'm just saying because. Who doesn't so, like your hair? No, I'm just saying, you know, but you got to be yourself. I like, I like not having a diet with bullshit and, like, bought my mom a fucking diet every month and stuff, you know? All right, just, just flip it. you got to isolate what he just said. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you how you're doing, and, and I don't understand a word you said about mother. I, it, I just want to let it uh, be great because I hate to bother my mom every month dye to dye my hair and you would buy, you, your mother would dye your hair. Yeah, I never told anybody really. She was, she, you know, oh, she that's died all the time. That poor woman. I cannot wait till that woman sits by the feet of the Lord, and she will. <laughs> she will because she's a fantastic woman. She, she hugged will. me, Mike. I, I didn't tell you this. At the rectory, she hugged me and said, "Save me, Lord." <laughs> no, she did. <laughs> she no. said, "She said, get me out of here." No, she did. You know when? Uh, you know when the movie. Uh, uh, Dillinger with uh, Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp uh, is leaving the old uh, farmhouse. There's nothing around, and there's a little boy and a 14 year old girl, and they hug, and the girl says, Take me with you. <laughs> That's what Mrs. Boschetti said to me. No, she did because she, she said, said, Take me with you. She, I said, I'm not going anywhere. She goes, Can I stay here? She let me have it on, on, on the well, show that day. Why? What happened? She came on because I said, though, This is the woman who created me. She goes, I wouldn't tell her to too many people. And she wow, said, she was busting your chops. She meant it, I think. I didn't trust either one of your brothers. No. What are they up I to? I don't need it, really. These, they, they put tax down and would oh, wake, yeah. wake up, and he, he, he walked on the tax. Is that true? They unscrewed the light bulb in my room and put the tax on the floor, but I fixed their wagon good. What, their wagon? I, I, <laughs> <laughs> what was on their wagon? I screamed my ass off for my dad to come to the room, so he stepped on him and kicked their ass in after that. So you played the same <laughs> trick on your father? Yeah, yeah. And then he kicked their ass. I went like this, Dad! He came running in. I screamed like I was having a heart attack. I go, Dad! He came running in, stepped on tax. How, how often did you scream, Dad? <laughs> like that? Uh, was, he, was, was he ever doing something else besides stepping on tax when you screamed, Dad? Dad was betting bookies and all kinds of shit. And Dad! Losing a, a lot of Christmas presents on like... <laughs> Dad, I, I got your belt off! <laughs> <laughs> Dad! <laughs> Dad, my hair it needs to be dyed. <laughs> no, no. Dad! Now, if I told him, if he knew I was dying my hair, he'd fucking pound my head in. He's you think like you're a fan, very right? Closed, yeah. I'm very sorry, close minded. I'm sorry. What do you think? You're an unlucky Pierre? No, my, what am I? No, I don't. I like people who they are. My dad was super close minded from like the 1930s. Have you, uh, could you answer one question in a linear fashion? <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> But I, I asked, did your dad ever hit you? Yes, of course. He did sexually abuse you? No. Come okay. On. No. Does anyone believe that? I don't believe it. Don't Josh, be do you believe that? No, no my but dad I just can't get over the image of Mike in a shower cap, his old ma standing yeah. over him, massaging the color. Well, the, 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 the thought of Mike the and this, you, Mike's it's name in the same sentence is the word shower. Yeah, yeah. It's a, uh, I never no. thought I'd hear that. Shower cap or a seat cover? A shower cap. <laughs> no, no, it was weird. She was like, she did like, anyone see the meme or whatever you call it of Mike as a bucket of chicken? <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> did you see that, Mike? It's, it's funny. Up. I forgot who put it. I told Mike, of course, that uh, KFC had called here looking for him, and they wanted to use him in a campaign. His head was going to be the new bucket <laughs> <laughs> for a 62-piece chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and Mike, Mike turned it down. Mike, you actually turned it down. The word no is very powerful. Yeah. Of course, you never accept it from women. <laughs> but uh, have you had any other offers since the big Pepsi campaign? Uh, I actually auditioned for a commercial. There was in, I, I didn't get it. I was in callbacks with it in the well, UK. Well, that's not exactly a campaign. You auditioned. Yeah. Well, what happened? For what It was product? called MailChimp? Some kind of... Some MailChimp? Mail chimp, ah. yeah. Wait, send that my way. Wait a minute. I'll take that. <laughs> Would you fuck a chimp? Well, no. No, you wouldn't. Were you in that documentary called Tickled? <laughs> no, I don't know what that is. <laughs> what about... No, Tickles is like the guy who we had on Stern. Remember him? No, no. The guy on Stern, uh, what the fuck was his name? What was his name? Something the Tickler. Randy the Tickler. 
Who has held a baby and wanted to elicit laughter <laughs> by tickling them? Oh, hey, God, you've never man. seen that documentary already? That, he's in it. He's a star with this guy. Oh, that's the guy? Yeah, I watched uh, Tickle for a little while, but I got I got uh, disgusted. It's Yaki the Tickler. Yaki, Yaki the Tickler. Yeah, yeah. And Yucko the Clown. <laughs> Yucky. No. And Boschetti, have you ever been tickled? Are you ticklish? Super much, yeah, yeah, yeah. Super much? Hi, snuggies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hi, snuggies. Okay, here's Mike talking to a Jew girl's uh, uh, cat. Oh, that's... Let's hear it. Because <laughs> oh, no. I'm coming to visit mommy. And you know what? Niggas are stupid and violent. <laughs> because you got better. And you're a good boy. <laughs> Big good boy. <laughs> I'm going to bring you a toy. Send this to Jen Apatow. <laughs> this is not true of white people. <laughs> <laughs> See you Thursday. Oh, nice no. snuggles. This is Love him you. teaching Stacey Pressman's cat how to be racist. <laughs> oh, no. Hi, snuggles. Here, listen. Hi, buddy. How are you? Hope you're doing good, Snuggles. Snuggles. Niggas are stupid and violent. <laughs> I love you, buddy. This is not true of white people. I'm so glad you're feeling better, Snuggles. I'm so glad you're yourself. I definitely was I had to turn my man code. I don't know. He's going, he's going, hi, Snuggles. Mommy. Niggas are stupid and violent. Mommy. Mommy. Why do you call her Bobby? I are you called him mommy? Well, are you were you daddy to the cat? No. <laughs> the daddy to the cat. <laughs> you called her mommy though. Did I? I don't even know. He's calling Stacy Prosman mommy. Oh. Oh. And mommy and dad. <laughs> mommy. Dad! <laughs> I did everything you said, Dad. I'm crying. It's like the great Santini. <laughs> dad! I dyed my hair like you said, Dad. Now, did you win Dirtiest Elbows in Staten Island again? Because uh, that's a tough contest to win. That is a tough fucking contest. I've won it 10 years in a row. Dirtiest Elbows in Staten Island has got some entries. Astonishing. Of course, blacks can't be in it. Oh! For obvious Those are reasons. ashiest elbows. <laughs> okay, Mike Boschetti. Oh, no. no Let me tell you no. something. Yeah. Mike Boschetti is arguably my favorite person who's ever breathed air. Thank you. I, you are so fucking funny. You don't even know how funny you are. You're giving. You're, you're an honest guy. Well, I'm you, sorry we had a... Uh, you know, we didn't have any falling out. You did. I don't know what you're talking I, about. You were arguing with a cat. Uh, I never stopped loving No, you. I know. And brain. you want to hear... We might tag this at the end. You want to hear how much of a friend he is. I want you to go and hear him agree to swallow heroin and shit it out for me. <laughs> when he didn't know it was a joke, he goes, I'd do anything for you, Art. He was going to swallow a pellet of heroin that I was going to put a hole in and uh, have him die from uh, you know, yeah. ingesting it. No, <laughs> you agreed to swallow heroin for me yes. and shit it out. Well, your friends are your family. You and know. people said, Art, why did you do that? Uh, well, think about what he just said. Your yeah. friends are your family. I don't know but uh, you know how much I love you, Mike? You, you're, so, you're responsible for so many laughs. My direct TV show, it, it, they want to fucking uh, start a cult like the dead, and it's because of Mike fucking right. Moschetti. No, Every no, funny no, no, clip no, no. Yeah. Yeah. of Don't fucking argue with me. Okay. What's up because of? It's yeah. because of yourself. That guy on the other end over there flipping was a genius, but he did. Dan flipping was. Yeah, flipping's been around for all the funny shit. Man. <laughs> Dan and is, that. Dan has been a great producer to work with okay. great people. Now, which Dan? Flotto. I know. No, I love you, Mike, and I Thank wish you the you best. And you me Flotto. and you probably uh, are going into our last year of living. And, uh, uh, I want to be better. No, now, be, because I, neither one of us have a significant other. It's assisted living. There you go. Oh. <laughs> you, saved, you saved your funniest comment for the last show. I uh, I want to be buried next to you because neither one of us have a woman, yeah. unless I get a really fat woman with gray hair. No, you can get any woman you want. I always told you that because you can bang any br any woman you want. Let's move on. Bury you between Adam Rich. Yeah, Adam Rich. Oh, no. <laughs> Adam Adam. Uh, I wish I was. That's his middle name. All right, this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be hard. Well, can I say one thing before we go? Oh, my what, God. One... <laughs> yeah, go ahead. What? There's one obscurity I would like to fucking, who's kind of a dickhead in a way. Go right ahead, Mike. <laughs> Because this is about negativity. Go ahead. Peter Brady? Yeah. Was, <laughs> I, I was on an on, on interview with him. Shut his mic off. He's a, <laughs> we're going to shut your mic off. You know what? You were like Jordan. You had the last shot, and now this is like coming back playing for the bullets. This is going to be episode 401, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> How about 401K? <laughs> Which you're not going to get. Mike, what about you? How's it going? Now, Mike doesn't usually travel. You're 54. You live with your mom in Staten Island. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, right? Okay. So you've never well, been out of the country. That's better than living with somebody I'm else's in. mom. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, explain, explain well, how it's hard to Well, it's my first time I've never left America before. Well, you have sleep apnea. 
Yo, God, Chris is going to find it out tonight. Mike is a very funny yeah. comedian. Uh, it's hard to room with Mike. I, I did a gig with him, how I met him, about 17 years ago in Lehigh, uh, Pennsylvania. We shared a room, and about, uh, I didn't, never saw a sleep apnea machine before, but he was wearing it. And he got, it was like February in Lehigh, Pennsylvania. He got up at like four in the morning to take a shit. And the shit was so awful, it woke me up. <laughs> it's like the smell had arms and it was shaking me. <laughs> And I got up, like, scared. Like, what the fuck just woke me up? And out of the bathroom came, like, Darth Vader. <laughs> Wait, you wear your sleep apnea like, machine you know, when like you're a, shitting? Like a, uh, like Why don't big, you take it off? I was just in a rush, Howie, really. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like something like a meth guy in blue velvet. <laughs> you, just, you just look scary as hell. He had a big hose at the end of it. Uh, it, it. It got smaller over the years. And this is what he said to me. This is what he said to me. You can tell I was, the smell was crazy. I guess he's, other people have had this complaint before. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It sounded like him in, in that voice saying, Thank you, Mike. I'm sorry, Artie. I had provolone. <laughs> <laughs> he really said that. I, I'm not, so uh, I opened the window. It was two degrees, and I opened the window, and I slept like that. Now, is that an issue with you, the sleep apnea well, still? I, I lost a lot of weight, but it, I hope to get What? Get of <laughs> God, I did. No, I did. <laughs> This is Mike losing a lot of weight. Is that true? Yeah, I did. I mean, I was like a, a mess. <laughs> he was a mess, people. He was a mess. You realize people can see you, right? <laughs> that was, okay. How much heavier were you? I was a mess. I was a mess. <laughs> You don't understand tense. That would be the great book cover ever. A picture of you. <laughs> the title is I Was a Mess. <laughs> I Was a Mess, the story of my struggles. <laughs> Mike You're Pichetti. a regular Johnny Depp now. <laughs> <laughs> I Was a Mess. Gilbert, yes. now, what do you think, well, if you had to assess Mike physically, what changes would you oh, make? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, because you lost a lot of weight. Yeah. <laughs> You're practically an Olsen twin. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you were. Uh, I thought you had AIDS when you came in. Uh, and not new AIDS, old AIDS. Like you know what I mean. Now uh, Chris Cotton is here. He's the fat guy. Yeah, hey, hey, what's up, man? Chris what's was up? also a mess. I was a mess. Now. Uh, <laughs> now Chris, uh, my agent told me when I started the podcast, based on stuff I said on the Stern Show, I. I should hire a black guy to make it look good, like I missed it, you know. <laughs> now, how are uh, how are you enjoying uh, here? And uh, you know, you're younger. You're very funny. I'm enjoying here. It's fun hanging out. Fun hanging out in Montreal. I mean, I didn't get a maid come to my room yet. Now, Bachetti's there. <laughs> I have no chance of getting a maid coming to my room. You know, that should be your line, uh, Mike. When the maid comes in, if she's looking at you weird, you should go, "I was a mess." <laughs> <laughs> I was a mess. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so thanks for coming up. Oh, He's on my fun, podcast man. all the time. Yeah. Are you excited to meet? The I'm excited to uh, sit here and shit on people with uh, Gilbert and, 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 and Howie. This is funny. This is fun, man. <laughs> it sounds like fun. You me. really sell the fun. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm all about fun. This is fun. This is fun. <laughs> How you doing? It's a I'm good excited. time. Yeah, I mean, time. yeah, you know, uh, Gilbert and Howie are legendary comics, and they're, and they're trying at least to be funny. <laughs> I'm trying to be. <laughs> He's low key. He's low key. Oh, very low funny. key. That's like, uh, yeah, that's like LeBron James in the fuck. I know. <laughs> He's over it. In train wreck, yeah. LeBron James. Uh, well, I mean, you know, really, I'm honored. Oh man, this is great, man. No, this is a fun time. This, this is the most excitement you can get out of me. I'm, I'm pulling it out. This is this is a great time, everybody. Make yeah. some noise. That's it. That's all I got. That's all I got. Mike, did you really lose? Are you serious? Are you? Did you lose weight? Yeah, did well, you lost a shitload of weight. I went from four X to an XL in like sixteen months. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? No, you're not giving. You don't do it in numbers. I'm a two X, and you're not smaller than me, Mike. No, no, no. But you know, different brands. <laughs> the sizing no, is different. Right. Different clothes are cut different from different places. Absolutely. Right. So you went to the one where a double X is really an X. Oh, yeah. you went to the <laughs> pitch. Lulu watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. If I got that joke, I think it's way funnier. I think it's good, too, yeah. No, but I was 40% body fat. You were what? 40% body and fat. And what are you now? <laughs> uh, He's dead serious. What are you now? Mike, I know, uh, Mike, well, honestly, Mike, you <laughs> I may have to stop this. <laughs> 
Why did you bring up percentages? You were 40% body yes. fat. And what are you now? Uh, probably... Thirty. No, <laughs> the audience said 100. It's made out of butter. I swear to God, you're My made out of butter. My Twitter audience right? and and podcast or is it make the best fat jokes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like uh, my nickname on my Twitter feed is Obese Witherspoon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god! No, but what are the you now? That's a good, method. That's a good this question. Is the denial well, method. you started at forty percent. I'd probably say maybe he's wasting away. <laughs> maybe half. <laughs> I don't even know how. Maybe yeah. half. Hopefully, <laughs> I, I used to like. You were forty percent, and now just, you're maybe half. Now you think I was you're twenty. Just like dying in the middle of the night on, a, you know, a pile. Of Do you still have doodles. apnea? Yeah, yeah, but not as bad. What makes it not as bad? It's I can breathe a lot better now. You sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Are your shits as bad? No, I take them less. <laughs> you take them less? Yeah, less now. That's take bad. Shits you know, it's healthier to have a <laughs> shit. Uh, more is better. But uh, I'd be stuck. The fact that you haven't shit in two years is not healthy. <laughs> <laughs> I take less shits. Uh, so I must be less body fat. Well, it's 40%. Who is, do you 40%? go to a doctor? Yeah, is your mom doctor. telling you to do this? Well, my doctor was laughing when I went, <laughs> I got on the scale, actually. You know, but What's your His doctor doctor's laughing at 40% body fat. A woman fucks you and cries. <laughs> <laughs> this is odd. It's like the end of the world or something. <laughs> Who's your doctor? Is he credible in Staten Island? Uh, he's uh, Dr. DeGenero. <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Doolittle? You said Dr. Doolittle? <laughs> Well, that's that's, really Dr. that's Dr. not his name. That's a no, no. sauce. Yeah, Dr. DiGiorno? That that I'm name? Italian, and I wouldn't go to a doctor named Dr. DiGiorno. No, he's kind of a clown. Uh, can we call him? He's now? kind of a clown, really, you know, but I, I, he's kind of a clown? <laughs> On the side, that's his job, a clown. He's that's a clown. That's way to describe a doctor. <laughs> I, 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 I nodded out from heroin on the biggest radio show of all time, and <laughs> he had a drink before he came on the <laughs> yeah, exactly. oh, least my God. successful podcast ever. <laughs> It's not like a Mike Machete saying, did you track her down? How do you leave that one on the table? <laughs> Talking about the maid, he doesn't say, hey, uh, did you get her number? Did you call her? What's her name? Did you track her down? That wasn't creepy? Well, I guess that's what he's done a few times. <laughs> did you get a rag filled with chloroform and follow her home? You're attracted to a girl and you didn't track her down? <laughs> yeah. yeah, Mike, why would you say something like that? I don't know, Otto. I mean, I, I why is his microphone not on? It's on. It is? It yeah. only picks up funny. It's, I can't oh. hear. Oh. Oh, that was me. Gino. Come on, Gino. Well, then you're, you're supposed to just start to work. Gino, if you had a... Gino, if you had a, Gino, if you had a dick, it'd be dangerous. <laughs> That's you're what right. Pressman, That's what Crossman told me. Mike, you oh, look like the eagle from the, because, the Muppet hang Show. Hang on, hang on. You look like the eagle from the Muppet Show. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> I, I, that's a good one, buddy. I'm he, not asked, gonna, he asked for that look in the barber shop. <laughs> I'm not going to let y'all just shit on Mike, all right? Mike's my friend. You're not going to just shit on Mike. Oh, wow. No, but Gino started with somebody we both love a lot on. He's oh, an idiot. Oh, God. That's, yeah, no, I, that's why I think Mike is 40% body fat, 60% Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could be the snuffle up, I guess. I don't even know. <laughs> okay, that was hilarious. Paul, you can shit on Mike. You uh, have permission. Right, oh, I, now, I'm Mike, fine. what we're going to do is we're going to do something that Mike will be doing on the regular show sometimes and you guys can comment on it of course mike is our weatherman on our show back home and uh he's gonna do it with the help of some french uh, yeah. canadian weather women nice yes. mike's right, gonna yeah. do the weather in french for us uh, uh, mike get up I, I don't i don't speak french uh, that's the bit <laughs> <laughs> oh my that's god funny. chris farley once played a male stripper on saturday night Live. you know why that was funny <laughs> 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 he said, I don't know how to dance. <laughs> he, um, he doesn't look like a male stripper. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, this is, oh, wait, I'm sorry. I forgot this broad's name. <laughs> You're Amalinda Bocaire. What did I say that? Aramalinda Bocaire. I was trying to say French. She spoke like she was from Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Amalinda, Amalinda Bocaire. She's really, okay, Amalinda, and you're at CGAD. Yes. CJAD, JAD. CJAD. CJAD. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And I'm getting up. Is that a, 800. Yes. We'll do weather with Mike. Of course, you're going to help us out, right? Absolutely. Now, do you want to change into your clothes? Or? <laughs> you can't oh. just came from the gym. What is that? I, well, I started off with a very sexy top because I thought, yeah, you know, I'm going to be in front she of looks like she came you know, from a great gym. gorgeous men. And then well, I, shut up, Mike. <laughs> It's Mike's really getting cold in here, and I'm feeling like, you know, this push-up bra is not going to be holding it's the girl. Probably all those hooker stories. What about Mike's push-up bra? That's not working. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, well, that's good. So, so uh, now you're going to teach Mike some weather in French, and he's going to yeah. do some. Okay, okay, let's see how this. Okay. Works. So first of all, when you speak French, okay. Okay. You know, we Anglophones, we speak the lips are back French. We speak with the lips out front, okay? Uh, lips out front. Lips up. Oh, you got to park a car under there. <laughs> oh, it wouldn't get wet, okay? Lips okay. out front. A lot, a lot, out of, okay. uh, after a lot of French phrases, people say, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so to speak French, <laughs> lips out front. Lips out front. That's right. Horrible. <laughs> Just horrible. Do you know... What, what I didn't even language? say anything, Mike. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying. I'm, uh, he just swallowed about, half the language. You know, you're lucky. He used to be really bad at French. <laughs> uh, okay. And English. So now we're going to say tonight it's going to be generally cloudy. So okay. ce soir. Ce soir. Ce sera. Szechuan. <laughs> Not Szechuan. Szechuan. Ce soir. Ce soir. Ce sera. Ce sera. Généralement. Général. Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> okay. Mike, doesn't Mike's lower uh-huh. chin look like the chin of an empire <laughs> penguin before she fed her kids? <laughs> And of course, when you speak French, you have to move okay, your hands cool. a lot, okay? His second chin okay. is the cold Ce front. Ce soir. Oh, <laughs> shit. Lots of hands. Okay, shit. Shit, 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 Lagarde looks at Artie for like to, to be right or wrong. <laughs> Let's start with you. Does this seem okay? Nuage. Nuage. Mais. Mais. But. But. Mais. <laughs> 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 but. I can make him say anything. <laughs> but. Okay. So now. It's playing charades. <laughs> On peut avoir. One. A pu 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 wa. My God. Let's go. That's all right. Leave it there. Yeah. Okay. A grand risque. A grand risque. Oh. Des orages. Oh, God. This is difficult. Uh, let me uh, say it again. Sl- oh, wait. Let me. Okay. What do we get to the weather? Was this a French class? <laughs> no, this is awesome. I love this. Okay. Un grand risque. A g- grand. Uh, risque. It's like risk, but risque. Oh. Take oh, yeah. That's going to help. Oh, <laughs> risk. Okay. R- 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 risque. Risque. Exactly. Risque. Okay. De orage. De orage. Mike. <laughs> le temperature. <laughs> oh God, this is getting just, worse and okay, worse. With French, you just make it a little bit more flowery. Okay. So temperature, sure. temperature. D- temperature. <laughs> that's so off. That's a, that's English. That's so right? far different than what she said. Well, temperature. Mike, try oh, to get him to do some weather. Try to get him to point to the map okay. and do some weather. Okay, so now we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna teach you how to do weather. And this okay. is we pretend TV. This is the key wall. So you have to okay. cheat. You have to look at the audience, okay. make eye contact with the audience, okay. but at the same time point to the map. Okay. You do that for me? Sure. Okay. So, ce soir. <laughs> okay. You gotta get Hold on, let me get my. All right. Like, uh, All right. So, okay. ce soir. Look at the audience. Okay. Ce soir. Got- <laughs> oh my God. On va avoir un risque. Et wa 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 risque. <laughs> and you have, to kind of, you have to kind of do that, like sort of give it a oh, little okay. rub, okay? Okay. On va avoir un risque, like touch it. Oh, oh. It's so like a date, there you go. <laughs> this is like things only you would see on acid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's ça va très froid ce soir. Like, Whoa. it's cold. It's uh, très froid ce soir. It's freeze. Oh, wait. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's freeze. It's freeze. Oh, it's freeze. Oh, like, oh, like, oh, like, oh, like, it's freeze. It's freeze. It's fucking freeze. Oh, it's freeze. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Let's, let's stop for one second. <laughs> so, Gino, what's your assessment of this? Uh, I think people would never leave the house for fear of the weather if Mike was doing the weather. I think there's some kind of terrible thing that makes people lose their sense of speech. Uh, yeah, any thoughts from the panel on this? I do, I do want to see the forecast say it's fucking freezing. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, just, just end ha ha ha. Just say uh, it ha, might rain okay. ha ha ha. Okay. Ha ha ha. That's creepy. Mike, That's I creepy. Believe you're doing Get a great in my job, van. Ha ha ha. I Mike, believe it. Yeah, I, I think, think if this Mike podcast gets out, uh, Quebec is going to secede. <laughs> 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 yeah, Mike, by the way, never give yourself such less credit saying you're bad at French. I, I heard it spoken in a plane. It's a great language. 
<laughs> but Mike, you should also about Mike. He's such a sweet guy. After seven minutes of ridicule and awful humor, he'll say something sensitive. Yeah. <laughs> that was an example. Like, no one knows what's going on. Yeah. By the way, it's beautiful language. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, I Mike, heard it spoken on the plane. It's a beautiful language. Mike studied for this by having three cups of French dressing. Good job. <laughs> well done. <laughs> they should do it. <laughs> Teach him something useful. Teach him how to say ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> Heart attack ray or something. Oh, <laughs> Chakra blue. Very good. I think that you, was close. That's great in case we invade another country right now. Yeah. That's great. Uh, every, okay. every kid who's watched Cinderella knows that. Oh, uh, I know. So, I know French from like uh, second grade, I think. Okay. <laughs> that song. What do you call it? Farah Jaka. That's prayer. It goes. I think. Fra- Mike, oh, don't Fra- use your pre-written material. <laughs> okay. <thank you. laughs> Hey, Artie, are you, are you seeing any... I'm wondering if she's single. I see a little chemistry here. I think, I think they could definitely talk a little later. Yeah. They'll no, never no, find no, her no, body, I Mike. don't see any chemistry. She doesn't have any, she doesn't have any bleach. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to help. super cute. He's tellement cute. He's adorable. Oh, it just moved. By body language, I know you said no. Oh, it just moved. Does that mean it's going to be a makeout session? (laughs) Does this mean I can track you down? (laughs) (laughs) Cloudy with a chance of rape. <laughs> Gino, why don't you show that chance? Is with 100%. That chance. <laughs> Just with all right, are, are you at all uh, scared for yourself not, at all? Okay, bl- blink if you are. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his shirt half tucked in. Things are going well. <laughs> Thank Mike, you. ahead, uh, real quick, let's see okay. what else you got. Let's wrap this, this up. Is great, All right. Now, uh, because Canada, we have a lot of First Nations here, I have some special names, okay. and I want you to pronounce them for me. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I was going to get These are actual cities in Canada. Okay. okay? Now, this one's going to be in Nova Scotia. How okay. would you pronounce that? Ekum, Shekum, Nova Scotia. I don't Make know that what he did. sound like a social disease. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's Ecom Secom Nova oh, Scotia. Oh, Ecom Secom Nova Scotia. Okay. We're going to save this one for the last. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see if you can get this okay. one. Okay. Spasm, British Columbia. <laughs> That's spasm, British Columbia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Here comes a really. Okay. Here's a good one for you. Okay. okay. Northern Ontario. Okay. This is the Ottawa Piscata. First Nation. <laughs> wow. It's, it's close. It's Ottawa Piscat, First Nations, but you made it sound like biscotti. Oh, thank you. Okay. Uh, this one. For, right to here. be honest, I didn't tell Mike to oh. be reading. Okay. Genoqua. <laughs> it's Genoqua. Oh, sorry. Close enough. Sam okay. pointed. I would fail this too. And That's that the same point. There. Oh no. Uh, oh no. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> okay. Kapasung Singh. Kapaskasing. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I'm gonna hand for the first one. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Guys.